Throughout Europe, and especially in Hungary, table tennis skills were developing rapidly in the early 1930s. Footage of Hungarian star Laszlo Belak reveals early European advances in backhand and forehand technique. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to introduce to you the Hungarian champion, Mr. Belak, and the German champion, Mr. Majoglu. Now, we are at the final of the gentlemen the flamboyant Belak would be finalist in three world championships. Vic Dabana, table tennis' most legendary figure, would win 22 world titles, including five men's singles. Two Hungarians are finalists in the Table Tennis Championship, a sport which that country has made its own, for Fred Perry is the only man other than Hungarian ever to win the singles. These two champions are Zabados and Barna. This is Zabados in close-up. Zabados had won the 1931 World Singles title, defeating Barna in the final. When you play this at home, you don't reckon to get injured much unless you run back into the fireplace, but in the World's Championship, the ambulance man has to be on the alert. Anyhow, play after that really was magnificent. Shooting from this angle, our cameraman is able to show you, despite the smoke from nearly 10,000 cigars and cigarettes, how the masters play the game that looks so easy but is so difficult. How they make the ball twist and spin and swerve in the air. In fact, do everything except a rumba. The score in the fifth game goes to 18 all before Barna pulls ahead, and a superb shot makes him world champion again. The Yankee team of Shep and McClure give their Hungarian opponents a lively lesson. <laughs> Uncle Sam winning. In Wembley's Empire Pool, the finals of the British Table Tennis Championships. England's Victor Barner and the bespectacled American Marty Reisman clash in the men's oh, final. And what a battle it turns out to be. Barner's famous backhand flick is still a factor in this 1949 English Open. A week earlier, Reisman had reached the semi-final of the Stockholm Worlds. He'd go on to win two U.S. Open titles and become one of America's most charismatic players. Both men have won two sets, and this is the decider. Youth pitted against experience, subtle tactics against dashing speed. The first American, only 19 years old, was not even born when Barna had already won his first world title. And this is it. Barna's backhand flip may win him the title again. The 37-year-old Barna's superb all-round skills are still evident in this, his last international final. But youth tells in the end. The vigor of a teenage New Yorker is the winning factor, and Marty Reisman is Britain's new table tennis champ. Victor Barna would retire from singles play 
as the winningest table tennis player of all time. From 1937 to 1953, four players would dominate world table tennis. Richard Bergman, Austria and England. Bohemian Vanya, Czechoslovakia. And Ferenc Shido of Hungary. Johnny Leach, Great Britain. With the men's finals, England is nowhere in the picture. The battle is between Richard Bergman of Austria on the far side and the Czechoslovakian world singles champion, B. Varner. For the best part of an hour, the game goes hit for hit, with curly-headed Bergman continuously angling for position to make his devastating smash and Varner retrieving everything. Yes, he does. Don't argue. In the last game, veteran Varner goes ahead and it looks like the end. But then Bergman spurts to take eight points in a row. So Dick Bergman is the new champion. At Wembley, the table tennis championships of England. Dark-haired Richard Bergman, the newly crowned world champion, meets Michel Hagenard of France in the men's final. After a thrilling opening, Bergman comes out leading two sets to one, and now turns on the pressure in this, the decisive set. Though he loses this point to make the score 20 to 8, the Englishman is now at his best, and with nonchalant ease, gets ready to smash home the winner. England champion for the fourth time, Richard Bergman keeps the title at home. For championship table tennis, or ping pong if you like, we give you this exciting exchange in the European finals between Austria and Hungary. Bergman faces Ferenc Schoch in this 1938's Waveling Cup match. Table tennis, or ping pong if you like, we give you this exciting exchange in the European finals between Austria and Hungary. Bergman faced Ferenc Sido, the triple world champion. Despite his size, Sido displays the delicate touches of the master. Sido took the first set, 21-19, Bergman at the far end, then square the match. Bergman would win the prestigious English Open remarkable six times. In a grim last set struggle, This match, it's Bergman versus nine-time German champion Connie Freundorfer. To combat Freundorfer's roll and pick offense, Bergman uses his up-to-the-table half volley and his exceptional long-range retrieving defense. the most tenacious of all players. His miraculous comebacks earned him the nickname Richard the Lionhearted. <laughs> 